Oh, hey everybody. Uh, today we are going to do the first of the Toshi Densetsu stories. Uh, it's a kind of traditional tale, but there's a lot of stuff around it. But uh, let me present Gozu to you. Okay, so today's story is actually is called Gozu, which translates to Ox's Head. Now, the rumors on the story are that um, the story is actually lost, right? And it's such a horrific story that anybody who reads it or tells the story, well, actually, nobody can really tell the story. Anybody who reads the story or tries to tell the story or people who hear the story are so frightened and so terrified that they either die they start shaking uncontrollably and then they either die or uh, they die immediately or uh, one or two variations say that the story is so scary that the people actually lose the memory of hearing the story. So, um, yeah, so it's, uh, well, I'll get into it in a little bit, but um, so there's all of this folklore about, it's more about the story than the story itself. Uh, it's a, supposed to be absolutely terrifying and has to do with the head of an ox. So uh, before I get into actually telling you the story, uh, I need to give you a little bit of background. Uh, I'm in the Kansai region, and in Kyoto there are two temples, two temples, that have flea markets every month. One is uh, Toji Temple, which is a beautiful temple. You should, If you're in Kyoto, you should take the time to stop by. If you are fortunate enough to be there on the 21st of the month, uh, there's a huge flea market, and there's a lot of antiques at the flea market. And uh, there's a second temple called uh, Kitano Temangu, which is up near um, Kinkakuji, uh, in the northwest part of Kyoto. And they also have a uh, antiques fair flea market uh, on the 25th of the month. So, last month I was up, you know, trying to find some deals and stuff like that. I kind of collect scrolls, uh, old stuff like that. And occasionally, uh, you can find some really nice old scrolls or uh, antiques of a lot of different varieties. So I found uh, one that was uh, pretty cool looking. I couldn't really read it at all, but, you know, took it out and made sure that the paper was okay. Uh, I found, but it looked... The end of it was cut, or uh, torn, right, so the ragged edge. I'd show it to you, but it was really expensive, so I'm not going to. Um, so, uh, that was I found that one on at uh, Toji uh, on the 21st, and then on the 25th, Christmas Day, woohoo, uh, I went up to Kitano Mangu and walked around the flea market there, and they also have scrolls and stuff like that, and I was able to find a scroll that looked really similar to the one I had just bought four days before. And uh, it looked like uh, it was also kind of the same color paper. I mean, you know how paper yellows with age and stuff. Uh, so it was awesome. Uh, and it looked, it had also like looked like it had been torn at the end. Um, so I'm like, oh, wow, well, that's cool. So I came home, and once I compared the tears, it looked like they matched up. So uh, the th one thing I didn't notice when I was buying them is each of them had like... Uh, you know, like the cow horns, whoo, right, on each end of the scrolls. So I think it was a matching set. Well, it turns out it was, right? So uh, I went and made a photocopy of the uh, of the scroll, and it turns out it was the Gozu story. So uh, I made a photocopy of it uh, so that I could just, you know, so when I tell you, I can just read it out. Uh, the weird thing was when I started to, uh, after I made the photocopy, the photocopier broke. It was weird. I don't understand. But anyway, doesn't matter. So I got it here and uh, anyway, I got it here and so um, I'm going to read you the story and then tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you think it's a scary story and stuff like that? That's weird. It sounds like... Anyway. Uh, Alright, so uh, everyone knows Cows are delicious. Cows are delicious. Cow God was very angry and had huge horns. Uh, everyone knows cows are delicious. 